Hi, this is Krishna. Welcome back once again. Part one of this video, we learn what is .NET, how .NET works, what is managed assembly. In this video, we will learn compilation and execution process of .NET, why .NET, what is .NET Core, what is Jamarin, future of .NET. This is the piece of code written in C-sharp language. For this movement, you just copy and paste this code in notepad and save it as hello.cs. I will explain this code in later video. You can compile this code using CSC compiler in command prompt. So how to do this? Open notepad. I just paste it here and save it as hello dot hello dot cs. I save it in my C directory test folder. Fine. Now open command prompt. Run as administrator. Here we set the path of .NET framework. So my .NET framework is installed in C directory Windows. Microsoft Microsoft.NET framework. So we .NET framework four folder. Uh, here's this is the CSC compiler. I just copy this path and save this path here set path equal to just paste so this path has been set now run compiler csc sorry my shishar code is stored in uh, test folder test folder so we go there first change directory cd c colon backward slash test enter now here run csc compiler csc hello dot hello dot cs so csc is the compiler name hello dot cs is the c sharp code just enter so hello dot exe file is created here so this is exe file so this is managed assembly run this code is it executable or not yes this works fine hi krishna so this managed assembly will be run on .NET framework. So my PC is already installed .NET frameworks. So that's why it is running. If .NET framework is not installed, exe file cannot be run. Remember this. Okay, how you can read this managed assembly? For this, so go to C directory program files and then Microsoft to HDK, then Windows, then 
B7.07 then bin folder here we will find IL DASM so this is the IL DASM tool we will just copy this path and here set set path is equal to just paste this link enter this path has been set now ILDASM dot exe of course dot exe is optional here and space uh, my file name is what uh, test folder hello dot exe so I hello dot exe just like that so il dasm window will be opened here so this is my hello.exe assembly as this assembly contains manifest and manifest hosts the information about this assembly like what version of this assembly is here okay so you can also read this assembly and hello.ex this is the microsoft intermediate language port this is the main method so here this is written in microsoft intermediate language those who can have a knowledge in a assembly language can read this code also so something like uh, load string hi krishna this is written in c-sharp language So, hi Krishna. Okay, fine. You can also export this assembly. Again, we can run this. Just go to file dump here. Just press OK. Leave the settings here like this, and save file as hello hello. That IL is automatically takes. So this is test file. You can read all this assembly code, Microsoft Intermediate Language code. So this is the meta data that may manifest holes and this is some Microsoft intermediate language data. This moment I delete this hello and how we can recon it is. So I delete that hello.exe now using ILASM tool ILASM dot exe space uh, hello dot or this file extension dot il il means intermediate language okay just saying that so i lazim dot exe is not recognized so we set the path of uh, il lazim tool first so to do that where is i lazm tool located go to c drive windows microsoft.net framework and here so i lazm so just copy this path and set set path to just paste it here now you can run i lazm dot hello dot il so now this operation successfully created 
go to test folder yes this file has been reconstructed again hi it works it works fine so why dotnet before dotnet we write a code in visual basic vb compiler compiles this visual basic code into assembly that is in the form of .exe or .dll but if you build this code in windows 98 and try to run on windows xp machine it can't be run for this reason microsoft introduced this extra mechanism so the same technology is already introduced in java in the year 1995 java compiler compiles source code into byte code it runs on java virtual machine so dotnet framework supports all the versions of windows only it cannot run on linux or mac os for this reason microsoft introduced dotnet core it is re-implementation of dotnet framework the latest version of dotnet core is dotnet core 3.1 that run on Windows, Linux, and uh, Mac OS. So, what is .NET Core? .NET Core is an open source cross platform for developing web applications using ASP.NET Core. We can also develop desktop applications using WPF and Windows Forms. These features are now included in .NET Core 3.0. JAML is the markup language that is used for UI user interface. WPF and Windows Forms are supported in Windows only, so they are not cross platform but they are open source. The compilers are also re implemented. Roslyn compiler for both C sharp and VB.NET, F sharp 4.1, and later compiler search for F sharp. JIT compiler is also renamed as RUIGIT. Its performance is too good as compared to JIT. CoreFX is re-implementation of the .NET framework class libraries. What is Jammerin? Jammerin is a company that starts building Android, iOS and Windows mobile applications using Mono. Mono is a cross platform implementation of the .NET framework used to develop mobile applications for any operating system. Microsoft acquired Jamarin and integrated Visual Studio .NET. Jamarin uses Mono class libraries which are re-implementation of .NET framework class libraries. So using C Sharp language we can develop mobile applications in Jamarin platform. Microsoft announced next release after .NET Core 3.1 is .NET 5. It will be released on first week of now 2020. .NET 5 combines all the best features of .NET Framework, .NET Core and Jamarin into a one single platform. Microsoft develops a .NET standard library that manages all the platforms. Using .NET 5, we can develop desktop applications, web applications, cloud-based services, mobile applications, games, Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence. So this is the roadmap of .NET. .NET started 2002 with .NET version 1.0 and now .NET 5.0. Thanks for watching this video.